Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to record, stream, whatever you want to do through your Xbox One. So firstly, you'll need to go to Google Chrome or whatever you use. And you'll need to download OBS. Excuse all this, I keep getting all this ready. So, OBS type that in, download, simple as that, it's free so that's the first part, next part you're gonna need the Xbox One app so if you just go to the Microsoft Store sorry, Microsoft Store, or if I just stop store that should be okay. go to the Microsoft Store Uh, apps and then type in Xbox and it's this one here that you'll need um, I did have that one but you know they're the same thing basically uh, so yeah download that one then go into your settings on OBS um, well first you probably need to set this up so on a blank canvas let's just do this quickly for you so if we set up another scene just call it scene 3 oh, look, that's my other scene so with the scene you need to go into sources here and you need display capture set that to whatever you want set that to well it will set it automatically to your screen size ok and then you'll have that section there ok so that's all nice doesn't quite look like it fits in there so we'll just slightly adjust it there you go that's perfectly in there now and then anything else you want to add for instance if you want to add yourself video capture and there I am so I can add that in or if you don't have a camera on your laptop or whatever you're using then use a plug-in webcam next maybe you want to put an image on there so browse go into your images whatever you desire let's put this funny one of my brother on there <laughs> alright and then if you you know if you need your logos for your YouTube or whatever stick that wherever you want basically and your webcam you know you can move that wherever you want when I've left that one out text now do you want I don't know your YouTube name Adam Liberate 4K you can select the font let's have that set the size do you want the colour changed I always usually go green because green sort of overrides any other colour you can have oh I'll just switch that around don't need to do that so there's that one and then obviously uh, that is upside down but that's because I yeah <laughs> so put that wherever you want it we'll just leave that for now oh, there you go, turn that back around so you could have something like that maybe um, next so that's just a basic you fiddle around with it um, you're going to need to do your settings but firstly open your Xbox app Go down to here to connections or connection. Okay. Okay, it doesn't want to work at the moment. It's just playing up, so let's leave it a minute. Connections, and then you can test your stream and add your device, which is your Xbox. Click stream. So now we're connecting to the Xbox. Continue. Now you can see we're streaming. Okay, so next up. You 
need to set it to how you want it to look, so quality. All that kind of good stuff there. Okay. So that's our stream here. So that's how you do that. You just stop that stream for a second. Now on the new Xbox app you can add, oh, I had a problem with this, you can add, see, party there, how loud you want the party to be, <coughs> and such a like, um, that's just that section there, I'll show you the settings you need to add your friends into your stream or recording shortly. So go back into OBS settings now general you don't have to do too much in here so that's pretty much how you want it to be really it's not too much of a concern there here you need streaming services obviously now what do you want to stream to I personally just record now I don't stream and edit the, the uh, recordings um, but let's say we wanted YouTube so we go YouTube we need that on primary and just server stream key well we haven't got one so go to YouTube can't see it. there we go it's there create a studio so go into create a studio alright live streaming and then go down and you'll see there you have a stream key obviously I'm not going to reveal that online but copy that copy back to OBS paste it in there and apply and you're away so yeah any any which one you want to do get the stream key from that channel and there you go right output stream in now because we are recording now I can't change stuff but here we have in here you'll have quicksync H264 which is what I'm using or H264 the standard one so you need to use one of them with the basic laptops if you've got a uh, or PC if you've got a gaming or high high end one you should have a card you can use within there so yeah I used QuickSync H264 for recording I find it's the best one um, this is on streaming obviously I don't stream on I record most of the time but you need to have if you're gonna stream set that to roughly your size of your laptop screen near enough like the closest one or exact um, then have that on balanced I would say then main two seconds and four seconds CBR constant bit rate and the bit rate it all depends on the speed of your internet so your upload speed go into speed test right test your speed however you want to do it there's loads of different speed tests we'll do this one which is the one I always use oh, it's taken a bit of time today Alright, we won't use that one, we'll use the other one. Speed test. We'll run the speed test on here, because it's better. It's more. So, speed test is pretty poor at the moment. It's meant to be 100, but it seems to be fluctuating quite a lot, and I'm, I'm not wide in, so. So, my upload. 
is seven, eight in those areas. Oh, it's gone down now. Right, 5.75. That's not very good. So we'll say six. Six megabytes, right? So, what you then have to do is calculate. So, six. 75% of six. So, we'll just type that in because. I'm just showing you. 75% of 6 is 4.5. So that is the max bit rate you could really have for your stream. So that is that. That's your bit rate. 4,500 bit rate. Okay. Recording. Now, you have the type on standard. I, ha I use the quick sync again, but you can use the 264. Rescale is the size of your screen again. Your audio track, you only need really one audio track, so you just have that on one on both of these. Okay. Now, I, I my bitrate is the same for this, but I don't stream and record, I just record at the moment. Constant bitrate, main, balanced, and again, two, four. Click apply. Audio. Now, with a track that you're using, which we'll be using one, I set it at 192 and that seems to be a good sound quality. Nothing needed to do in the replay buffer. Audio. Top one, 48 kilohertz. Stereo. Whatever your speakers are, set that. Disable the second desktop. If you've got a mic in your f front port of your laptop, then select that one, which is the one I've got in. Um, but if you're on the Xbox, you can plug it into your controller adapter, and it will it will record um, from your TV, the party, and you. So it will still be, you know, like you've got it plugged in your laptop. So you can do that. Disable them to have that on fast. That's that section. Video. Now I can't change any of this, but uh, 1280, 720 is. This is the canvas resolution seems to work quite well have this on view uh, by cubic and set that and common FPS you can have 30 or 60 I've got an Xbox One X so I put it on 60 nothing needed in hotkeys or advanced really so apply that ok right so that's the screen And go in here, and we'll go back to stream. Okay, so you see, we're now streaming. What? Oh, uh, pardon me, I didn't see you there. Uh, it's a bit packed in there. Okay. What would you like? My special health blend. How are you, sir? Oh, ah, this looks pretty nice. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we're having beef tonight. Prefer camel, but the wife is watching all that damn. Okay. So now, now I'm streaming. I've got my Xbox on. Let me show you the settings that are required. Okay. So. We go to display and sound, video output, now I've got that in 4K, you need to set that to 10 bit, okay, and if you've got 4K you need to sort of allow all this, okay, um, audio output, have that uncompressed, 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 your volume, <coughs> I have that on do nothing, Headset and speakers, the reason you have that is so that you can record the party chat. So everything that's coming out of your TV, you know, the party the, and the game, goes into your stream or recording. Okay, so that's all you kind of really need for that. And uh, that's kind of it really. Obviously that's your, that's your stop stream. So, yes. 
that's the basic uh, way I do it so it seems pretty good thanks for watching bye